Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you um, uh, the housekeeping book that I've started. But before I explain, if you hear a lot of crashing and banging about my husband's doing some renovations in our lounge, so upstairs above me, so it may get a bit loud in a minute. <laughs> but um, yeah, but apart from that, yeah, my housekeeping um, folder book, whatever you want to say. Um, a few months ago I started um, keeping a housekeeping book. I thought it would be a good idea to start this housekeeping book, although I've been a housewife and a mother for a long time. But I just thought, I love to be organised. Here he's making the noise now. But anyway, I love to be organised and I love to organise everything, my cupboards and everything. And um, I just love to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. So I am most effective around my home and with homeschooling Gabriel and paying our bills and the whole shebang everything so i just thought i would start a little folder slash book whatever you want to call it and um yeah i just thought i'd show you so i started about three four months ago i think oh we'll see in a minute won't we because i've got some old um meal plannings in there so like so for example i do my meal planning in there i've got uh, my cleaning routine so that i can share it with my older children well i gave all as well because he's 12 now so he can do cleaning can't he easy um, so that they know what I what I would like done on a certain day. I'm not saying that everything in the cleaning routine gets done every day, um, but it's a guide and um, to try and encourage everybody to help out, chip in, and to make sure that you know as much of it gets done as possible and the house keeps as clean as possible. Um, yeah, so that's what that's for. I've also got some re uh, meal ideas not the actual recipes in there because um i've got them elsewhere probably just up here actually <laughs> a lot of my recipes are in there um but a lot of the meal ideas that i know that my family like to eat um so i've written them down so that they can have a quick flick through and say what they'd like for the whole of a month so we do work out and we always have worked out what we what we're going to have each week before we went shopping so we can buy a shopping and you know buy appropriately but um i've now extended it to having the whole month planned out ahead so i it's so much easier and it just saves time knowing what we've got to buy for a month so without further ado i will show you my um my housekeeping book as i'm calling it <laughs> it's banging crazy like crazy up there sorry if it's disturbing you but you know i'm not going to get much peace and quiet in this house today but anyway so here down here is my housekeeping folder. So here's my housekeeping folder, my little book as I call it. And so we started off with a morning routine in here. Everything's written in pen and this is what we've got. Um, this is what I like to um, have so that everyone knows what they're doing and um, they can just have a look and see what needs to be done, what hasn't been done. So sink for the bathroom toilet i insist every day that the bathroom sink and toilets are cleaned um the kitchen washing up rubbish worktops tidy up it's pretty self-explanatory to make sure that the dogs the cats the fish are fed um in the lounge to make sure everything's tidy the cushions and any rubbish that are out is out uh beds everyone i like everyone to have a bed made because it makes you feel as though you've achieved something if that's all you do in one day and when you come to bed you've got a nice made bed and everything feels organized and it's fantastic so if it's on a day where they some it's your turn to change or someone's turn to change their bed i do ask that maybe if they could hoover their um mattress as well as changing their sheets because i like to keep all the dust down you can imagine keep your ho bed hoovered and in the garden as we've got dogs sometimes when it's been a bit raining and we've been a bit lazy and haven't taken the dogs out sometimes they will go out and have a um, do their business out in the garden so it's a case of picking up them any mess that's in the garden and washing down and disinfecting um like i say clean up rubbish and sort out the bins because we have some external bins in the garden um for that um, some of these things won't always need doing so in the garden picking up after the dogs they won't necessarily be anything out there it's not always the case but it's just written down so if it's there just check and just do sort of thing so this is like I say this is the evening routine so we've got washing up after dinner don't want food sitting on plates and mess hanging around just makes the house look messy and smells messy 
put any rubbish out into the bins in the garden. You can see work top, tidy up, wash and sweep the floors if needed. Otherwise, it, I just sometimes just sweep them or spot mop them if that's the case. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, our dining room, just clean the table after we've eaten so any spills are cleaned up. Um, tidy the chairs. What else is there? The bathroom. I just like to make sure all in all the rooms at the end of the day are swept and washed and the toilets and sinks are clean. And if there's anything that needs cleaning up, just clean it up. Um, laundry, any laundry that's been done throughout, throughout the day, sorry, just to make sure it's all folded, put away or put into an ironing pile for later on in the week. And if any carpets need hoovering, etc. or hard floors, just to make sure that they need doing. Like I say, this doesn't need doing every day, so not everything on that list will get done every day, maybe one or two things. But it's just a plan and this is what we have. So over here we have a daily routine. So on a Monday I have a... And this doesn't... Not everything on this will get done. Sometimes it will all get done in one day. And um, sometimes I'm a bit ambitious with my my plans but anyway on a Monday I like to hoover polish high dust put any rubbish away like I say that's been duplicated over on the other side in the morning and evening routine some of this stuff but it's just a general tidy up clean any mirrors the windows blinds um, that sort of thing and then also sort of like clean windows doors outside and anything that's reachable because I'm quite short at five foot four and <laughs> I'm not very fond of step ladders and standing on chairs um so we've also got um bits and pieces that need attention on tuesday in the halls and my son job's bedroom that's for him to tidy that's not my job that's for him because he's 21 and i'm pretty sure he can handle that and then on wednesday we give the bathroom or i we all give the bathroom a good spring clean and um make sure it's top notch and then we also have the study, which is my husband's room. We give that a quick clean over, but he likes it how he likes it. So I just give him the bare essentials in there and he finishes it off in his own time. Um, Thursday's routine would be the kitchen. So cleaning the cupboards, cleaning the sinks under the cupboards, you know, high dusting, that sort of thing. And that dreaded ironing pile that's built up over the week. Obviously, if something needs ironing throughout the week, um, and it's important that we, of course, I get the ironing table out and I will do the ironing or whoever is capable of doing the ironing will do the ironing. Um, so Friday's routine is my bedroom. So changing bed sheets, hoovering the mattress, mirrors, uh, tidy up any bedroom drawers, the cupboards, etc. You get what I'm getting at here. And then Friday also is the dining room, sweep and wash floors, which would have been duplicated. So I might not necessarily wash the floors here. I might do, but, you know... Um, and then window, school area for Gabriel. We've got a certain area in the dining room where he keeps all his books and pencils and everything for his homeschooling. So that's tidied up. And the fireplace. On a Saturday, we've got our basement out the front, which we like to keep clean because the dustbin, the bin, bin men come on Friday and they do sort of like sometimes rip the bags open. So we like to disinfect and clean up after them. And that sort of thing. A uh, car, I like to give a quick clean over i don't wash and wax it every week it's just a case of sometimes just going in there picking up the rubbish and tidying up the boot etc and um if there's any rubbish yeah that sort of thing just checking if needed it's not on a general week thing but check oil water tires that's not an every week thing but you know if i see it i'll do it um and gabriel's room so saturday is gabriel's day for cleaning his room i do give him a bit of a help because it's it's quite a big room for him to keep tidy um, but he pretty much does it all. He changes his bed sheets and everything, so he was his bed. Sunday, I try to keep not too bad. It's, you know, not too busy, sorry. So Sunday, is my camera going to focus? There you go, is the garden, the back garden. So definitely clean the back garden again. I love to make sure the back garden's clean and tidy. Disinfect any bins that need, the bins that need to be doing. Water, feed any plants. Well, it's getting now to autumn. Well, it actually is autumn now, it was autumn the other day. So they probably don't need feeding and watering, but you know, just keep an eye on everything. And in the summer we were keeping an eye on the snails and everything that were trying to eat, and the slugs that were trying to eat her plants. Um, and also on Sunday, my eldest son that lives at home, Chris, it's his turn because it's his day off work, he will clean his room out 
and um, that's his responsibility and he'll put all his sheets and everything in the washing machine and sort out for himself and then I've got here those jobs that you don't do very often um, like cleaning the fridge, chip pan because you know we're English and we have everyone in England usually generally has a chip pan unless they're an absolute health freak um, my camera going to focus for you um, anyway I'll carry on I think you can pretty much see it Sunday, uh, so if I explain so the first Saturday will be clean fridge etc the first Sunday will be an additional job of say really scrub out the dishwasher and the ceiling lights so here we go second Saturday and Sunday you can see oven hob hood fish tank um, sometimes you know the fish tank gets just half the water gets topped up each week and changed over but I give it a good clean I'm not sure if you're supposed to but every month I like to give it a good clean otherwise it will smell um, the third uh, weekend of each month will be Clean the tumble dryer and washing machine. I give it a good clean. Bath the dogs. So that's Bell and Marvin. And cut Marvin's fringe because he's a Yorkshire Terrier. So he does tend to get a bit of hair over his eyes and in his ears. And it's not very nice for him. Like, surely he wants to, sit, wants to see where he's going. Um, but he does go to the uh, dog beauty parlour. Um, so they give him a good cut and tidy him up <laughs> every now and again. So and on the fourth weekend of... So Saturday and Sunday is clean the chest freezer and it says clean the old freezer but the old freezer is now gone so I've only got one freezer. So this Sunday I've got nothing. Yay for having a Sunday off. So then on to my next page over here. So we are in September, September coming to the end of September now. Um, this is what I've done with my meal plan. So as you can see this day we had a fry up, lasagna. Um, what else have we got? Chicken chow mein, that sort of thing, rice dinners. So that's what I do. I just go through everything and work out what everybody wants. So it's over there as well. It's upside down. <laughs> but that's what we do. We work everything out. So we've got fish and chips and onion rings that we make. So that's basically what we do there for meal planning. I try to split it up so we don't have like two chicken meals together or if I do a roast chicken and I know there's going to be some left over for say a pie or something, I will maybe do it the next day or so. So look here, so here we've got roast chicken but here we've also got chicken and bacon pie because I knew that there would be um, meat left over and I do like to use it up straight away. So that's just the exception to that rule. But gen on a general thing, I don't like to have two chicken things or two meat beef things or whatever you know that to vary the uh, meats or whatever the style of meals are so say not two casseroles together but sometimes so sometimes i don't think too carefully and i do end up with say two casseroles together but hey you know it's not the end of the world so over here on this page i have got some little ideas for my family so for like sandwiches what they can have in wraps um just little soup ideas. Actually, I haven't put anything for soups, I just noticed. But that's that would probably be just variable on what I've got. So it would be vegetables, mushroom, tomato soup, whatever I've got left over to make soup with. Or I can buy extra in the supermarket on a deal. So like mushrooms recently I bought on a deal. Or we've been making a lot of tomato soup because the tomatoes we've been growing in the garden has been quite abundant. And so there's basically just some ideas for my family. This isn't necessary to have in there, but sometimes, you know, I forget what you can eat. And, you know... This will just give me my mind a little jog and say, oh, you can have this for lunch or you could have that for lunch. I did start off by doing, um, my plan was to do each month to change the different bakes and cakes and things we were going to make. But it turned out that everything that I was doing just for when I started in July, that my family pretty much wanted that most of the time anyway. They were their favourite foods and that's what they wanted. So, um, so like they love the fairy cakes. Um, in fact, I've just made a batch of fairy cakes before I was making this video. And as soon as they came out of the oven, they were snapping them out. I couldn't even get them on the cooling tray before they were eating them. They were eating them hot. That's the way they like them. So, you know, hey, I don't even need to buy cooling trays anymore. But anyway, um, this is for our pets. So we've got two dogs, two cats, and a big, great big goldfish, fancy fish. Um, and this is what we do. We break it down to how many tins of cat food we use per month and how much it generally is. Well, it was when I wrote this out. This probably needs revising now because the prices have probably gone up. Um, and this is generally how much we prepare to pay upwards for a big box or sat bag of biscuits for the cats, then treats. So we allow here for any flea and worming treatments because, you know, we don't want them to um, come to any discomfort with these sort of things. And in fact, we don't want the bugs in the house either. So um, this is ditto with the dogs. We've worked out toys because my Yorkshire Terrier dog, Marvin, is an absolute 
toy fan who loves to play with his toys and we have to keep him occupied otherwise he gets incredibly bored and he's an incredibly clever dog who loves to learn tricks so he also leaves lots of treats to encourage him to do this because he's incredibly funny and our dog Belle she likes her treats too because she's a lazy big bulldog and of course we need to keep them clean so we've got lots of money allowed for the shampoo so there is the cost of four pound there it says for a fish food allowance the fish the fish pretty much takes care of himself he's just a case of just cleaning out and occasionally because he doesn't i don't buy fish food every month that money will sit there in a pot um, and build up so if i need to buy some stuff to clean him out or if in the future i need a new filter or whatever it is um yeah so there's always going to be money allowed for that in the future i don't necessarily use it every month so I've worked out a grand total, you can see there, of £82.26. Oh, is it going to focus in? £82.26, and that would be a daily total of £2.66. And excuse the loud noise, because my husband's still banging uh, and crashing upstairs. So that's the fish. And then here you are, here's a quick overview of some of the, the uh, meals that we um, I've written down quickly. So fried chicken the kebab so there's just like under like different headings of chicken um uh what's this one meatless yeah that's meatless so that's probably me um so we've got lamb ideas ideas with sausages some look quick ideas for salad which i haven't filled in i'm sure there's lots of other things i can put in here um some other meals so pizzas fry ups egg foo young my husband loves egg foo young and a meaty jambalaya so it could be any meat as far as we're concerned we're not we don't stick to just seafood because my family aren't massive seafood, especially my husband. Um, and then turkey ideas. What else we got? We got pork ideas here to give the family. Um, ham and gammon type ideas, which are actually quite good if you buy a big joint of ham or gammon. Um, you can make several meals out of them. So you could have a roast and then you could use it to make pea and ham soup with potatoes or a casserole. You could use leftovers for um, carbonara. It's a good thing to buy as ham or a gammon. Um, sometimes at Christmas we buy a game or it's on offer. Um, don't often have that one, but they do like that. Duck's not a one we'd usually have that much. But at Christmas I do buy a little bit, a couple of breasts of duck and do some little bits and pieces with it um, beef plenty of beef ideas chili con carne what else have we got fish like i say my family aren't massive fish fans but they will have fish and chips make homemade fish nuggets bites whatever you call them fish cakes they love fish cakes um yeah home, my gable loves homemade fish cakes especially my mum's <laughs> so some i've been known to buy the fish and give them to her and she makes them and there's just like side ideas here, so like garlic bread, cornbread, corn cakes. Um, what else have we? Sweet potato salad, Indian. Where is it? Indian roast potatoes. So there's lots of ideas here. And here's some old. I keep the old men. Sorry, I keep the old meal plans that I've done. So this is August ones. They're all stacked up in there. So I keep all of those. Um, just so I can see what we've been having the previous month so we don't try and duplicate it too much but there's just some meals like fry ups and roast dinners that my family and fish and chips they they want them all the time they if they they eat chips and fry fry ups and roast dinners all the time if I let them um so yeah some of them are just regulars on the and we have to have <clears throat> and then just basically here are just some bits and tape bits of paper that are ready to go so this one is going to start doing for oh, upside down um, this one will be for october so i need to meal plan pretty much soon for october okay so that was my housekeeping slash book type folder thing that i have started to create and try and keep some order in and you know my house i mean i don't really need to do it but it's good to try and encourage my family to help out especially homeschooling gable so there's a lot more things to do and encouraging gable to learn how to keep a house and plan meals and buy food and all that sort of thing so that's the sort of thing to help gable out as well but i like to keep organized at home and i'm having fun doing it and the family can just come and look to see what's for the dinner sort of keep asking me mum what's for dinner what's for dinner so yeah, sometimes the meal will change but you know such is life 
and um, there are occasions in there once a month that we do allow for a takeaway because it's not fair to not have a takeaway is it i don't i don't take partake in the takeaways but um because <clears throat> i generally have gluten most of it anyway and um so i don't want it or it's meat based and i don't eat meat so they have it but i don't so um i don't feel hard done by that anyway <laughs> but um yeah so that's basically my housekeeping book do you keep a housekeeping book slash folder, whatever you want to call it? If so, why don't you pop it down in the comments and explain how you keep yours? Do you do yours differently? What do you put in yours that I haven't got in mine? Is there anything in mine that you think that I could benefit of by having? Um, leave your comments down below. It'd be great to read what you put and what you do. So until next time, you take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye. -bye.